Hello and welcome back to the unofficial guide to NDI. In this video, we're going to look at NDI webcam input, an awesome way to take any NDI video source on your network and make it available as a USB webcam input in any software that uses a webcam. In this video, we'll show you how to use it with Zoom, but there are many, many applications that use webcams where this will work. Let's take a look. So NDI webcam input is one of the most awesome tools available in the NDI toolkit. Throughout this book and this online course, we've talked all about what NDI is, the most popular NDI software. We've gone over examples, how to build a network, what a local area network is, how NDI sources work. And now we're really going through each of the most important NDI tools and webcam capture is definitely one of the most important, webcam input. Um, here is an example of webcam input being used. As you can see, we've got an NDI video source. Maybe that is a camera. Maybe that is the output of a streaming computer. Could be a lot of different things. And we want to bring that into a laptop running Zoom. Now, Zoom is really popular for video communications, but this could be used with GoToMeeting, with WebEx, with Skype. There's a lot of cloud-based learning management systems like Blackboard and Moodle and Panopto. So many different solutions that use webcams. There needed to be a tool to take the NDI video from your local area network, right, on your IP local area network and get it into a webcam source. And it really is super straightforward and simple, just like screen capture, NDI screen capture, which we looked at in our last video, NDI webcam input is an application that really runs in the background. It will be found in your system tray. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And in the system tray, you can select from any of the NDI sources that are available to your computer. When you select one of those sources, you can choose the video and the audio that you'd like to be made available as a, I'm going to call it a virtual webcam, right? It's a webcam. It's not a physical webcam that's connected to your computer via USB. It's a virtual webcam input that works over the ethernet connectivity on your local area network. So very cool. Once you set this up, once you're running NDI webcam input, you can then select new tech NDI video as your camera and your microphone optionally, either one, both or one or the other, and you can basically bring the video directly in from NDI into an application like Zoom. So let's go to the system tray here. I want to show NDI virtual input, and you'll see here that a list of available NDI sources are already showing up. I have selected a front camera that's in my studio. These are all different NDI sources on my network. And I don't have any audio set up. Uh, just you have the 0 dB level. And then for video, we have it at 720p30, which is the default. That's perfect for Zoom. But we could go to 1080p30 as well, which I will do because I have upgraded our, and our Zoom session actually to include 1080p support. So it doesn't, doesn't hurt. Okay. So now over in Zoom, if we uh, zoom out here, what we'll see is that I actually have NDI video connected as my webcam. So in Zoom, we are seeing that instead of a webcam, I do have a, a regular webcam here connected. Um, instead of a webcam, we have, oh, the webcam is being used by, you know why that didn't show up? Because the webcam is actually being used by NDI Screen Capture, if you remember that from our last video. Anyway, now it's available. Uh, that is one thing I guess it's worth mentioning is that, you know, usually a webcam source can only be used by one application at a time. NDI kind of helps us get around that a little bit. 
So here's our NDI video. You can see it's incredibly low latency, it's high quality, and it's coming in over the Ethernet network, right? The IP network that we have. If we wanted to change the camera that we're looking at, like let's say my iPhone, for example, uh, it'll come right in via NDI virtual input. So cool way to switch cameras directly to into Zoom via a lot of different options. So that's a, a little demo of it working here. Again, it'll work with any NDI video source on your local area network, allowing you to virtualize it and make it available as a USB webcam. So that's it. It's really that simple. There's not a whole lot more to show. The key takeaways is it's a totally free tool available in the NDI toolkit. It can make any NDI video source available as a webcam in your source. And it's just a small little application that runs in the background. It's in your system tray so you can configure it. And at large, when you think about it, if you're in that Zoom meeting or that go-to meeting session, and you want to be able to show different video sources that aren't tethered to the computer you're using via USB, it really opens up that whole world of IP video, whether it's a smartphone, whether it's a camera on the other side of campus or at your office, whether it's one of the many video sources that you're using on your local area network, it's now available as a webcam source, which truly does open up a whole new realm of opportunities for NDI. All right, well, that's all for this video. In our next video, we're going to be looking at NDI tally lights. Don't forget to let us know what you're, what you're learning in this book. We'd love to know, are you using NDI webcam input? Is this software going to solve a solution for you, solve a problem that you've been dealing with? Is NDI webcam input any good? Let me know in the comments below. Let's have a discussion about this awesome piece of software, and I'll see you in the next video.